Ah, <sighs> I had such a good sleep. Even Sam is still asleep. Oh! What's that? Interesting. It looks like a piece of wool. Oh! Who's this little guy here? Who sneaked into our house? It's a little spider. You are so cute. Stay with us, little one. Sammy, wake up. We've got a new pet. I'll be right there, Sue. What's up? Look, Sammy. We have a new friend. Wow, Susie. Is it a spider? It looks scary. Sammy, you can't judge someone by their looks. First, you have to find out what kind of personality you're dealing with before you can draw any conclusions. You're right, Susan. I guess, but where is he gonna live? Right, we need to buy a terrarium for him. But for now, we should arrange something here to make sure our little spider doesn't get lost. Where was it? Where? Oh, right! Here's what we need. Also, I thought I had some left in here. Yes, right. This will do. We'll put this here. Our little spider will sit right here for a little bit. Hey, little one. Now we aren't going in the tub. That's where we should stay. Okay, let's pour some soil into a container. Here we go. Careful, little spider. Come over here. Come on over, little one. Yeah, good job. Good. See, this will be your shelter for the time being, okay? There, Sammy. Our little spider will be staying here. Guys, most importantly, don't forget that you must have holes in your container so that the spider can breathe. So, I've only seen those in the encyclopedia before. How did he get here? I think he crawled in from outside. It's weird that so many people are afraid of spiders. I mean, they're totally harmless. Guys, give a thumbs up if you too aren't afraid of little spiders. So, but our little spider shouldn't live in such conditions, right? Yeah, sure, Sammy. You stay with him and I'll go order a terrarium, okay? Well, we'll sit here. <laughs> Good little spider. Holy cannoli, guys! Something's happening in there! Sue! What? What's the panic about? There! There! The spider! Is he an alien? No, Sammy. It's just that our spider is shedding. That's all. I've never seen this process before like that. I mean, live. It's so cool! Why is he doing it? He doesn't like his old skin? Sammy, our little spider grows this way. It's not even his skin. It's something like a skeleton. Our spider's growing and changing. Such a wonderful creature. Be sure not to get in his way now. Let him get used to his new body in peace. He doesn't really need anything special right now to help him with it. And when he does get used to it, his new home will be here already. Our terrarium has arrived. It's time to put it together. Our little spider is feeling very good. And he's all ready for the big move. Guys, suggest a name for our little spider. Come on, come into way. This kind of spider is called a bird-eating spider. These spiders can be kept at home, so we kept it. You can't let the spider walk around the apartment because you might hurt him. Also, he should have his safe zone for having food and water. That's why we'll need a terrarium. Okay, guys, let's get to business. Let's see what's inside. I've never assembled terrariums for spiders before. I wonder if it's like an ant farm in any way. Nah, Sue, these are two totally different things. You think so? Okay, we'll see. Wow, it's so stylish and so reliable. Look, Sue, I think it's spoiled. There are holes in it. No, oh, Sammy, these holes are made on purpose to let air through. Oh, right. Why do I keep forgetting that, Sue? No problem, Sammy. The experts took care of it. Also, there are special securing fixtures here. Let's secure the first two walls together like this. Ah, uh, Sue, what do you think? Will the spider have enough space in there to weave his web? Uh, I read somewhere that a spider can weave a web as long as the Earth's equator. Well, he won't need that much web in our terrarium. We just have to make sure it has enough space. Look, I'm securing the walls. Now there's more than enough space in here to weave a web. Okay, then I don't have to worry. But a spider must need something other than space, right? Sure, Sammy. Let's add all kinds of things in here. As with any other terrarium, spiders should have a soft flooring in there so that he doesn't hurt himself if he falls. Coconut substrate is a perfect kind of flooring for a terrarium. Now see what's going to happen. Just watch it soak up all the water. It's like magic. Let's add some more. It's bulging, see? Now we need to knead it like dough. Isn't it fun? 
and ready. We're putting it on the bottom of our spider home. Hey guys, I'd like to remind you that we asked you to help us come up with a name for our spider. Comment under this video. Tell us what name you think suits him best. Here we go. Susie, we need to make a place for him to sleep on. Yes, Sammy, look. I bought a special snag for this. Why buy it? We could have gotten one from the street, Sue. No, come on, what are you saying? It's better not to get anything from our streets for our exotic pets, because they can get sick. It's better to use special things that are only intended for them. This looks more like a home now. We only need to arrange a kitchen and a place for him to play. Well, the kitchen, we need a container for water and food. We'll put it across from the bedroom. Like this. And now a place to play! Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, I forgot to warn you that our guest likes exotic toys. Yeah, you can't be more exotic than that. Where did you get this mini pirate? The same place I got the snack, Sammy! Oh. <laughs> we have all the special things for our spider. It's some sort of a VIP guest we have in here. Right, Sammy. Soon we'll show this home to its owner-to-be. Our little spider needs water and food. Great, all set now. Well, hello there, ready? Come over here, you little buddy. There you go, take your time. Soft, isn't it? Off you go, take a look around. Look, he's going for the shelter right away. I think he likes the snag. Make yourself comfortable, spider. That's it, little friend, you have a new home now. You forgot something here, Sue. Spiders love to be warm. We have to make sure the temperature is comfortable for him. Wow, right, Sam? Where did you get this? We'll put it here. Well, you're not the only thrifty person. <laughs> no, we are definitely done. Wow, well, little spider, how are you liking it? I hope he'll like it and won't escape from his home. Or else we can step on him and break his leg. Sammy, spiders have no bones. No bones? But his legs look so firm. Well, spiders have a firm shell. Actually, it's still possible to hurt his legs, like if you step on him accidentally. We won't step on his legs and hurt him ever. That's why we made the terrarium, right? Yes, Sammy, among other things. It looks like he's happy. I think so too. I can't wait for our subscribers to come up with a name for our spider. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Give a thumbs up if you want a spider too, or some other unusual pet. Sue, Sue, let's get a snake. Oh no. <laughs> this guy is clearly too much into exotics, and I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye!